Yo, what's going on, shroomies and shroomets? It's your guy with the fun jive, Easy Blue Thumb, and we are back with another one. Today's video, we are starting our Popcorn Chronicles. So, we are preparing our popcorn for our pressure cooking. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so when we prepare our popcorn, first off, I have about three and a half to four quarts of popcorn with about three to four inches of water above the popcorn. So that way, once we get it simmering, we can we don't want to burn it, all right? So we can just keep stirring with the simmer. We don't want to burn. So I'm going to bring it to about halfway, try to get this get this going. And I'll stir it every, every so often for about one to two hours, depending on how the grains swell up. So these grain, as you can see, it's about this big. It's gonna double in size once they absorb the water and they get a bit softer and then double in size. So maybe we'll have about seven quart jars and some for a grain bag. So I'm gonna let this work up the temperature. Once it gets simmering, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. And we're just going to keep stirring for about an hour or so. All right, shroomies. So it's about 40 minutes so far. And this is what I mean when I say a simmer. Been stirring it every so often. You see, they're getting bigger. Let me, uh, <clears throat> let me take one out to show you the size compared to a normal size kernel. All right, that is our normal sized uncooked kernel dropped it but that's the cooked kernel so far it's not a huge difference but very noticeable difference we're just gonna cook that a bit more you know let's do a side by side another one So here is the uncooked kernel versus our cooked kernel. See the difference? It's not a crazy difference, but it's a noticeable difference. And it's still a bit harder in the middle. See the bite down. It's very hard. Kind of hurt my damn tooth, to be honest. So we don't want it that hard. We want it a bit softer than this. So this is the simmer. We got our temps on low or medium. And just give it a stir. sit for another half hour 40 minutes all right our popcorn has now finished we got it in our strainer as you can see it's doubled up in size which is very good and this is how i tell that the popcorn is ready just smash it between my fingers and this is how it breaks just like that our popcorn is prepared to perfection let's go so it's gonna sit in the strainer while it cools down let the moisture evaporate and then i'll go in stir it flip it do what i gotta do but we're gonna jar it up once it's cool to the touch all right shroomies our popcorn is all jarred up ready to go in our pressure cooker we're doing it for about two to two and a half hours. 
We have our jars filled about 95% of the way. And the reason I do this is with the popcorn, I like to get the most out of it and it's easier to break and shake than the whole grain brown rice. So popcorn it is, popcorn for the win. And we are using both modified lids, plastic and metal. The metal, honestly, I like to use because we can, it's easier to tell for the quarter turn and the plastic jar lids, it's a bit more bulkier and the threads are kind of tight. So it's a bit more difficult to tell if you have that quarter turn on the plastic lid. So I like the metal ones, even though they rust, I've been using these metal ones since the very beginning and I've had no issues. So I'm gonna go ahead, add some water, get this thing started up, and I will take you guys to the next step. Let's go. Pressure cooker disclaimer. This is what I do. This is what I do. So what I'm doing right now is I'm letting the pressure build up inside of the cooker for, I don't know how long, but I let this sit for about two or three minutes. So that way we have a steady stream of steam coming out of that nozzle and then I cap it off with the weight and let it build the pressure up to 15 psi all right shroomies it's getting towards the end of the night we have 12 minutes left on our pressure cooking it's still going crazy it's been about two and a half hours and Honestly, I am ready to call it. It has been a long night. As we transfer into our lab, the steam has escaped from our nozzle. The pressure is regulated. It is now safe to open. Just be careful because it is extremely hot. Trust me, I know. I definitely got tagged right there. And we still have water down in the bottom of our pressure cooker, which is a good thing. We never want our pressure cooker to run dry. They are extremely dangerous and you should definitely read your manual before operating. I just want to say that. So once we have our popcorn out, I like to lay the jars uh, flat on their sides and let the popcorn lay out evenly so that we have more surface area for our evaporation. So if we have them stacked like that, only the top will be getting the proper amount of evaporation, then the rest of the grain still stay moist. So laying them side, laying them sideways, place them on the towel, filters up, and every day or so we'll give them a shake and we'll lay them right back on the side with the filters up. All right, Shumis, we are locked in, ready to go. We got some fresh genetics here that we're working with. Some things that I've never grown out before, so it's gonna be nice and exciting. We have our workstation prepped. Everything is cleaned, ISO down. But of course, we're going to run it back and do one more before we start going and touching everything. That's just how we do. And today we have our popcorn. We're starting our popcorn chronicles and we have our agar dishes that are already fully colonized and uh, purchased these online. So these are not my products, but something new and we're going we're going we're going to get to it genetics going on all right you guys know i like to leave my stuff face down so that way it's easy to grab cut do what we need to do do one more time on the hands Good to go. Let that sit for a second. 
Now I got three sets of genetics. I'm gonna do two popcorn uh, inoculations with them, two popcorn jars each. So we'll have a total of six today. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to do some agar transfers that uh, are on our pre-made agar dishes. So let's go ahead. What should I do? Let's move this over here, this over here. Let's go ahead and crack that. And I'm gonna shut up now. We got about four or five nice slices in there. I'm just going to go ahead and get these things down. It sucks when they stuck on the glass, but just shake them up. Yep, I got one stuck on the glass. All right, there we go. This little vibrate method works good. All right, so we got some down at the bottom, got some at the top, middle, middle. So overall, nice, decent coverage. All right. Now one's good, we're gonna go on to the next. Now, going to sterilize our blade again. Now I'm going to use a majority of this plate for these two popcorns and then I'll, I'm going to transfer the rest of this plate onto a fresh agar dish so that way we can expand our genetics. So I'm going to leave a quarter of this plate for transfers. We made more cuts than we needed to on that. Wasn't my best transfer, but hey, let's get all this mixed up. We got a couple at the top, like always. Just once the jar is closed, I mean, it's, it sucks. All right, you know what? I never do this, but this is, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't want to bust open the grain by shaking it like a maniac. So that one wants to stay up there stuck, then it'll just stay up there stuck. We got nice coverage though. All right. Since we are already working with this genetic right now, I'm going ahead and make my transfers. Uh, I'm gonna do three plates for each because 
If two fails, I have one. If one fails, I have two, so. Nice, clear plate. Look at that, boy. For our transfers, I want to use this cool tool that I bought. It's a Myco Punch from Metro Mushrooms. And we can put it inside our induction sterilizer. Which is actually really cool. Simple and easy. We'll actually flip it over so that way the agar sides face down. That's one. Then you can grab it with this. Push it down again like that. Ooh. All right. I'll just go ahead and get this out the way. And just like that, man, that wraps up our first part of Popcorn Chronicles inoculation. Let's go.